I'm heading to the infamous Saigonian Rock, christened by Arson Rides, visited by famous moto vloggers. And I've got a special treat for you guys. Ah. We're taking Luciana to 405 to the winning win to Paul's Verdes to Saigonian Rock. Hopefully I have enough gas, maybe not. Maybe I'll stop in Campton. Shitty F Campton. Oh sweet, is that a Hyundai? Awesome. Hyundai with a body kit. This baby MSRP is for around 25k. Getting real tardy traffic. I'm real tired. By the way, this is just completely normal. I don't know. <laughs> it's just every day is like this. It's pretty stupid. It's actually one of the reasons why I decided to get a motorcycle. I always liked motorcycles and power sports growing up, but I never thought I would actually own one. My mom had some friends in high school that that got killed in motorcycle accidents. So, at a very young age, oh yeah, motorcycles are bad or they're dangerous or whatever. And the thing that really kind of solidified safety on the bike for me were all the, the, the stats of the fatalities, actually. And at the time, I'm going to butcher this because I haven't even premeditated this thought. It was just saying a lot, a lot of motorcycle fatalities were due to uh, single vehicle accidents, meaning the, the cyclist himself uh, causes the accident, either going too hot into a corner or drinking or uh, I can't remember the other thing. And, you know, then a lot of them are left turns at an intersection. So, you know, just be careful at a left turn. And, you know, if you if you take a safety course and you decide it's not for you or you don't like it, yeah, then don't do it. But, man, I took that one class and I was just like, this is, this is awesome. And I... I had driven, I'd never driven a automatic transmission in a car, so I had the clutch thing down, so that was easy. And I had pretty good balance. And a friend of mine who I was talking to when I, when I was wanting a bike, he was like, can you ride a bicycle? I was like, yeah. And he's like, can you drive a stick? I'm like, yeah. He's like, then you can ride a motorcycle. So for me, it was, it was really easy. It was a duck to water getting on that thing. But, you know, the thing that, that I pulled the trigger on, it was just, you know, a lot of motorcycle accidents and fatalities can be prevented. Of course, there's freak accidents, but a lot of accidents happen because of the operator. Um, and I'm a pretty cautious dude. I've done some stupid shit and so has everybody. But, just like that. Um, I, uh... I was hooked, and I'm going to give it a shot, and I've been doing it for over two years now, and I love it. I think it's so much fun. And another, I, I don't know, it's really cool, too. There is a bond. We were talking about it one time, a bunch of riders. It, it is a special thing, and, you know, you have the, the wave and all that bullshit. But it's just fun riding with other people because it is challenging. Not everyone can do it, or not everyone has the courage to do it. There is still is a lot of fear and mis misunder misinformation about motorcycle riding. And man, when you do it right, it's it is a blast, and I love it. And I'm a part. I'm I'm super happy to be a part of the riding family, and it really is a family, man. Um, I don't know. If, if you're on the fence about getting a bike, just take the safety course. That can't hurt anything. Um, it's just, it's, it's one of a kind feeling, you know? There's a Lotus. Long Beach, San Pedro. Smells like B.O. Like the body odor of the backbone of America. It smells like fertilizer now. Okay. I can smell the ocean. And there's Maseratis. Come on, let those ponies run, Maserati. Oh, it's a girl. Damn it. It's a real nice ocean. Okay, the flag, that's where Donald Trump's golf course is. Here we go. Saigonian Rock. Oh man, I'm I'm actually way more excited than I should be about this. No parking anytime. 
Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. Look at that little gladiator action. Little gladiator. When he's running through the fields. Bro, like, ocean views are so chill. And like, so relaxing and stuff. It smells beautiful. Nope. No. No. Dude, I'm gonna be pissed. If I can't find this damn thing. Looks like they cleared some brush. I think they cleared some brush, so I made a new rock. Hopefully you're happy with that. This will be k -Sod Rock. All right, now for the moment you've all been waiting for. The mascot to Saigonian Rock, Elmo. And I officially declare him the watcher over of Saigonian Rock. And hopefully it scares the shit out of people. So there you go, Arson. I don't know if you can see this, but that chapel in the distance with the thing, that's where they shoot True Detective. If you watch True Detective, this is where uh, Rachel McAdams' dad lives, the hippie dude. Wayfarer's Chapel. Kinda cool. So from here you can see where Saigonian Rock is and the lookout. Super nice. This is the hallway where Rachel and her dad and Vince Vaughn and all these people walk back and forth. I don't know if you uh, can tell, but it's it, it it's the place. Don't f question me. Here is the uh, the glass office to the glass chapel, and uh, I don't think it's ironic that there's glass on top of the wood table. This water, it's actually glass, molten glass. If you lived here. You couldn't throw stones. So now we're uh, going to Trumple Steelskin's house. Donald Trump. By the way, it looks closed off, but it's open to the public. There's a beach access. Also, public restrooms. Come on, come to Trump's house. Take advantage of these facilities. If you're familiar with the movie Step Brothers, uh, this is where the Catalina wine mixer took place. And it is not Catalina Island. Fun fact. And I think that's one of these trails, I think that one, you can go down to the actual beach. The f Catalina wine mixer. Thanks for watching my video. Subscribe or die.